Hello there, everybody. You know what's happening? We're going to Hoth. Twice. Because, you see, we have to go to Hoth. But then we have to travel to Hoth. But first we have mail. Ooh, from Darth Gravis. Word has spread. I've just received word the civilians who managed to escape your mission of destruction have spread the terrors of our victory to other systems, just as we expected. You have proven yourself a shrewd and valuable servant of the Empire, one deserving of further reward. Thank you. Broga is honoring the deal you made with him on Quesh. Hard, well, not anymore. <laughs> Hard to say if he really disliked the Republic all along. Or if he was just desperate to save his slimy hide after you killed his Jedi Guardian. Not that it really matters. Broga is with us now, and the Republic is livid. With Broga's help, Imperial Adrenal Production... Production is ramping up quickly. It's only a matter of time until Quesh is ours. Moff Drayson. A gentleman's recommendation, you say? My lord, although you have my unwavering support, I would appreciate some discretion regarding my recent defection on Quesh. Traitors are rarely welcomed in civilized company, and I'd rather not find myself on the Dark Council's bad side. Should you should your bout with Than should your bout with Darth Thanaton end in tragedy? By the by, if you ever find yourself on Solist, you simply must stop by Miep's Bistro. I tell you, it is the it is the gourmet experience in Brahma Sector. Their brandy would shame Alderaan's finest vintage, and the waiters never leave your glass dry. Oh, that's good enough. I'll pay a visit sometime if I can ever go to Solust. Uh, right. To Hoth and then to Hoth. found some more information on this ghost business, Andronicus. Look, I've been doing some digging around, and by all accounts, this stuff is more messed up than Tatooine. Pirates run this place, though the Empire and the Republic have dared to move in of late. Still, ships don't land here. The cold is part of it, but there are other rumors. The kind you'd ignore if you had sense. Fortunately, I'm not interested in sense. Only ghosts. What do these rumors say? There was a light freighter out of Yavin 4, Star Runner, disappeared over this place. Reported some strange happenings before it did. It was a smuggler vessel loaded full of ancient junk from Yavin's tombs. If I wanted to catch a ghost, I'd start asking after that ship. This looks like an excellent opportunity to continue your training, Ashara. I'm ready, Master. Hollow Chatter says the Empire's operating on this ice block. So you might try using your new Lord of the Sith authority. Careful, though. Place is crawling with pirates. And they aren't all as nice as me.
kind of want to have a look, see if I have any hunter gear I would like to try. Looks like it would go, it would go all right with it. if I take the hand off. Okay, so I have a hood. This could work for my Jedi Knight. Or for, um, Kira. I'm not gonna take... I don't think I'll take Kira down to the planet. I think I'll, uh, take T7. What does this look like on a Shara? Well, if I remember to protect... Get my cord wrapped up on my controls here. Uh, if I make sure I protect Ashara's outfit, because I do like it. I'll give her the winter outfit here. Oh my god, is that what I look like right now? Holy shit. Uh, well, um, mm. Oh, god. No. Let's worry about that when I get down to the planet, because I think there's a bank down there. Hopefully. Welcome to the Adama Space Station, my lord. I'm Ensign Rail. I gather this visit is because you'll be traveling through to the surface of Hoth. Is there anything wrong? No, no, not at all. I am merely assigned to assist. I'll be scanning you so I can customize your cold weather equipment. Then I'll arrange your briefing. There we are. As you're on the VIP list, Lieutenant Halpern will brief you. He's in the theatre. Good day.
That's Ed Shan. A lord is present. At ease. Let's get this started. Ostensibly, the conflict on Hoth is over salvage from a battle that happened above the planet. In reality, it is our trap for the Republic. I hadn't heard anything about a trap on Hoth. Explain. The fight with the Republic has lasted for years now. The objective on Hoth is not to end the battle, but to sustain it. We want our forces small and mobile, and while the Republic keeps chasing victory, we bleed them dry of personnel and equipment. I will extend their misery with every blow I strike. Yes, my lord. Misery's easy enough to find on Hoth. My lord, forgive the interruption. I brought your cold weather equipment. We were just finishing, Ensign. This should keep your core body temperature up. When you're ready, report to a pilot in the shuttle bay for transport to the planet. Colonel Vanis at Dawn Base will be waiting for you. Good luck down there. Plan is awaits, my lord. Commander Triton will want to meet with you. My briefing said I was to meet a Colonel Vanus. Uh, I don't know anything about that. Commander Triton's the one listed as in charge now. I'm sure he can fill you in on the story. I need to de-ice the shuttle here.
Your advice boils down to doing nothing, and that I cannot do. Sir, I respect your bravery, but if you see this through personally, you will be dead. And whose leadership will we have then? My lord, we're glad you've arrived. May I introduce Commander Triton, and myself, a humble captain, core name, Eudrus. Lieutenant Halpin sent word you would be coming, and we've never had greater need of you. Colonel Vanis, the commander of this base, is missing. We fear he's dead, along with all the most experienced men from this base. Fill me in on the situation. The Colonel went out to investigate evidence of a possible spy probe near the Ice Lake. He was under heavy guard. We received a distress call. It was obvious he found trouble. Scout 1 to Dawn Base! Heavy casualties! Taking heavy casualties! We're under attack! We can't see the... Ah! 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 What on this world could take out an armed group of officers? Besides the Republic, there are Wampers, pirates. Mostly aliens unafraid of the Empire. But we can't simply cower in our base when the mission is to damage and exhaust the Republic. And our men can't do it. Commander, this visit is a gift to us from fate. Whoever is behind this will be nothing but a blot on the snow. Indeed. I have heard of the power of Sith. I only hope that you have not come too late. Our best case scenario is that Colonel Vanis's communications tipped off the Republic, and he's gone quiet. But if I were out in that cold, I'd have called for a rescue. If you can find the Colonel, everyone on this base is in your debt. ship called the Star Runner. My lord, truly an honor and a surprise. I'm afraid no ships have landed on Hoth in ages, unless it's a crash. Actually, the name Star Runner sounds familiar. If I may ask, what do you need the ship for? You're here on Darth Thanoson's behalf, naturally. The Star Runner was, uh, shipping artifacts that belonged to him. Strange. The vessel, I recall, was a Republic ship. Star Runner. Blast. Your ship crashed years ago. It's buried under a few tons of snow by now. Your best bet? No. Give me a few months to get a recovery team on it. A Sith does what a Sith wants. Well, I mean, there's an Imperial Reclamation Service team you could take command of, if you wanted. It's just, the lieutenant in charge is a little odd. Too much time digging in tombs, you understand. One moment you're seeking artifacts of unspeakable power, and the next you're flying halfway across the galaxy hunting ghosts. Well then, maybe you and Lieutenant Talos Drellick will get along after all. I'm afraid I can't call Lieutenant Drellick. The weather on Hoth is bad for communications. The team's way out in the way searching for some mythical Sith temple on Hoth of all places. Good luck, my lord.
And to think, I used to love snow. Just one look out here and I've already had enough. but a bunch of namby-pamby cowards on this frozen rock. Think I like hearing my teeth chatter and knees knock, my sweat freeze and breath blind me. Not a scrap. But i got a job to do, and by gum I aim to do it. Sounds like you need some help. Well, sorry about that, my lord, didn't see you. Kind of snow blind, I guess. None of those remarks were aimed at you. In fact, my mission calls for someone of your obvious capabilities. Colonel Vanis left orders to stop the Republic from tracking our deployments here. I figured out the enemy's MO, but need the firepower to squash it. How exactly has the Republic managed to get the best of us? Sneaky tricks, and a lot of luck. Republic scouts have set up a series of short-range relays. Need to activate one to jam their communications. Can't activate without a data card from one of the scouts. Gonna have to get one of them the old-fashioned way. You game? Any idea where I should start? Republic scouts range around the lower ruins, spying on us and disappearing. Get a data card off one of them and then find one of their relay consoles in the outer edge. I'll be here and can jam their relays once you're done. I'll be honest, this is sort of the reason why I don't really like outfits with capes. Because they just kind of, kind of just end up flipping through your character. Sure you'll be all right. It's very distracting during the pet scene.
You'll be all right. I found Colonel Vanus. He was dead. Murdered by Republic Tals. Tals? That would make sense. Cold adapted, Republic aligned. I've not killed their kind before. What about you, Commander? What? Yes, of course. The base awaits your orders, Commander. We are having deep morale issues in the forward outpost. I must show them that we can triumph without Colonel Vanus. Now is the time for reprisals. These chittering animals will not get away with this. I want ten of the Republic to suffer for every one of ours dead. I want every last tolls wiped out, their heads on sticks out in the frost. Anything you'd like to add? The main thrust of the plan is sensible, but given our limited knowledge, I suggest the plan be refined before use. A covert action is advisable, or we'll end up wiping out one group and causing the rest to go into hiding. I have data arrays we could install in their communications link. If we did that, we could locate and estimate their numbers before we hit them. They weren't carrying handheld comms. They probably got way stations. I can bug those. This sounds plausible. As much as I hate to admit it, Eudris is usually right about these things. Commander! Coming, Commander! Go ahead, Scout 5. We found a nest of tolls on the ice lake. Too many to engage. Transmitting coordinates now. Our luck is changing. If we can get those arrays into whatever they're using for communications, we'll soon know what we need. 
When you're done, report to the forward outpost. It's closer to the lake, and the men there can see your success in person. Done great. Got the activation signal from the Republic data relay, and we're already jamming their com. Thanks to you, things are getting hot round here. I can't use any of this. Quinn. Jasa, Pierce, Vet. I'm an Inquisitor, goddammit. <laughs> Fuck you! Come on.
you sure you'll be all right? We're close, boys. We'll find that temple. I can feel it. Rogers, no cutting corners. Don't forget the salt. Salt's not the best solution, but it's the only thing that doesn't freeze out here, and solid footing is a must. I'm looking for Lieutenant Talistrelic of the Imperial Reclamation Service. My lord, I am honored. I heard you single-handedly unearthed artifacts of the great Tulak Horde. I'm a Naga Sadar man myself, but I'd love to compare notes. What brings you to Hoff? And how may I be of service? I'm taking over this team in order to locate a ship called the Star Runner. Hmm. A ship. Not usually our line, but let's hear it. Maybe we can help. Hmm. A bit new for the reclamation service, but artifacts. And a ghost. I've heard that the dead talk down in the tombs, but to see one, oh, I wonder if it'd be possible to make a hollow image. I imagine it would depend on the light. Yes, darker would be better. Engineer Sorrel, do we have any probes that aren't frozen solid? Shalora works as good as any in these conditions, sir. She may not look like much, but she's got heart. If my guess is correct, the captain would have launched a distress beacon before the crash, which would give us a line on the ship. Not a bad idea. Beware, my lord. The cold's master out here. My boys and I are going to shift camp. Try to get a better communication setup going. But let us know if you find anything.
sure you'll be all right? Easy. This is Captain Quellen of the Star Runner. SOS. I repeat, SOS. We're caught in Hoth's gravitational pull and falling fast. Strange events date back two weeks. Yavin 4 artifacts believed to be the source. Something has taken control of the ship. To whomever finds this message, burn this vessel. Don't look inside. Don't touch it. Burn it. Lieutenant Drellick really is something else. Could find a Wampa here in a snowdrift, I bet. It still doesn't tell me where the ship is. No, but we have a bearing from the beacon launch. And those tracks. Somebody beat us to this thing. Lieutenant, sir. We found the beacon, but no ship. There's some light tracks, though. Appear to be a few days old. Have Shalora zoom in, Sorrel. I've been studying alien tracks since I was old enough to know a Twi'lek from a Toccata. Um, Ortolan. I'd know them if they were six days old and covered in jam. Those are Ortolan tracks. What's an Ortolan? A cold weather type of alien who made their homes on Hoth. Usually peaceful, until recently. It looks like those Ortolans dug something up. Possibly a clue to the ship's location. Sorrel, where's the nearest Ortolan camp? It's a ways beyond the next outpost. But the tracks look headed in the right direction. Well, it might be time to put on your best diplomatic face, my lord. Ortolans don't like outsiders much, but it looks like they're the key to finding our ghost. I will be utterly charming. I'll have Sorrel bring the beacon to the base. Between it and the Ortolans, we're bound to have a breakthrough. We'll be there when you're through dealing with the Ortolans.
to hear from you. We've been receiving the feed from the data arrays, and what we've learned is quite interesting. We had assumed there were one, perhaps two groups of tiles out there. We found six. Had we attacked earlier, we would have gotten one group and the other five would have gone to ground. Planning makes the victory greater. It certainly paid off in this case. Unfortunately, we have one more step to take. The good part is we know how many tiles there are. And the bad part is we don't have enough forces to hit all six groups at once. We have devised a plan to put the tiles in position for a killing blow. Their supplies, weapons, medical equipment and the high calorie food they require, all of it is stored in one central location. They may be adapted to the cold, but without their supplies they wouldn't last a week. So we will destroy their cache. So instead of fighting Tals, you want us to fight hungry, angry Tals? They should be able to mount one counterattack before hunger weakens them. If I were them, and suddenly without food, I would raid this base. So we will amplify our defenses here and spring the trap shut. Unfortunately, getting out their supplies may be difficult. They are in a series of ice caves overrun by Wampers. The more challenging, the better. If that is the case, I suggest an alternative. We are desperately short on supplies here. If you could bring back all you find, it could make a valuable difference. But we'd need over a hundred kilos of food alone. How would anyone carry that and still fight? You'd be surprised how much I can carry. Daring, my lord. I hope you're making the right call. Take anything of theirs that gives them aid or comfort. Make them come crawling. Let them know who the masters of this miserable world are.
Your cargo, Captain Yudras. In one piece, as am I. Yes, my lord. You'll be pleased to know that we have kept up our end of the plan. The base is prepared for war. We have security fields, sensors, anti-personnel guns. We'll obliterate any Tulls that dares approach. Commander! Commander! There's reports of a Tulls attack! Excellent. What wing are they headed for? No wing, sir. They're at the power station. They're overrunning the guards. They brought bombs. These Tulls have no fear. Even when their army is at its last breath, they want to take us down with them. If they kill the power station, we'll have no heat. We'll have to evacuate or we won't last past nightfall. I'll be there in but a moment. I'll call for reinforcements from Adamus Orbital. They should be able to land within the hour. Just get to that power station and quickly. Oka kiza spida perupa, kadwa shiniko higa danulia. Ni at ambumpa poshura mokili mokranki. Buka kampak nijit, tonka yiliska chanaga. You'd better have a good reason for stopping us, Sith. Kotocha kana gula ya. Chikos pa ini good dad ijigliska chanaga wa. Kabanotase makipuna, malituta odmishka. Sounds fraught with danger. Count me in. Ok bagthra wanawaga mi punawa duetwipe. Buka kampak nijit, tonka yiliska chanaga. Thank <laughs> you. 
easy.
I don't listen to anyone who plants bombs in my power station. Lieutenant Oron reporting in, my lord. Our company is on the ground and we have secured the perimeter. Glad to hear it. We'll finish up here. If you return to Dawn Base, Commander Triton will no doubt want to congratulate you in person. But e cuffs to an dile jihulo kuta che chopa kuma ni umpi but malia bedwana ni bobo kabanotase makipuna mali tuta od mishka. And you say the Sith held off the entire Tolls force single-handed? It sounds incredible to be sure, but here, I'll let you talk directly. My lord, we cannot express our gratitude. May I introduce Moff Brainor, overseer of the Hoth system, among others? It's an honor. If not for you, Dawn Base would have been lost, and all the outposts that depend on it. It is for that reason I ask you your opinion. Would you say Commander Triton or Chiss Captain Udras was more instrumental in the base's defense? Captain Udras's advice formed most of our key strategies. We relied on him heavily. That is as I expected. Very well. Captain Udras, you are now Colonel Udras. I am putting the base's welfare in your hands until further notice. It seems you have broken down a few barriers. I thank you. This is unprecedented. You do me great honor, Moff Brainor. I will have the base at inspection quality immediately. Sir, if I might ask, do you think the enlisted men will have a problem taking orders from Colonel Udras? You mean will they refuse orders from a Chiss? They will at first. Then they will be made examples. You could demonstrate your commitment by helping win the men over. That is an excellent idea. I will begin immediately. Thank you, Moff Brainer. Colonel Udras. That will be all. Well, that went better than expected. I suppose we should be happy we don't have pirate problems here. He's referring to another security failure. Captain Revar at Lef Outpost lost a reactor substation to the White Moor pirates. We have asked much of you. But Captain Revar has not, and his soldiers desperately need relief at the Lep outpost. If you have the time, look in on them.
displaying all authorized destinations. Travel route is confirmed. Honestly, I always recall Hoth having um, Hoth having a lot of problems when it comes to its sky. Because at sometimes, it, at some points, it looks like it lights up to be a lot more like daytime, or the sky just disappears altogether, or it's just really dark like this. Oh well, see what I mean. I like this guy though. Oh, well, not that guy, this guy. I don't know what's going on with this. But I've always remembered it being a problem. So, we have pirates to deal with, huh? Let's go get him. What is this? I asked not to be disturbed. Ah, it is you. Commander Triton and that Chiss fellow spoke well of you. Make yourself at home. I was busy calculating our chances in case the Republic attacks. It looks grim. If they bring a force of any real size, we're doomed. Don't focus on possibilities. Focus on what we will do. The best force multiplier would be installing more automated guns, which we have. However, they eat power. What we really need is to tap into the nearby geothermal power substation, but it's been taken by the White Moor. We don't have the manpower to take on those pirates, and we've got a base that'll black out in any sustained fight with the Republic. Criminals are no threat to me. Frozen ones, less so. The White Moor's hawks are more like an army than criminals. Our kill ratio for them is about 1 to 10. This is an energy coupling you'll need to install when you've eliminated all resistance. It should divert flow back to the outpost. With that power, our guns will be operational and give us a fighting chance. Go in strength. Agua Bosca Puño! Bosca! Tula musta ki trita nini, tanu valuya witiba. No, kava ja ul nui gust je punyo. Who is responsible for this? Wasta micha kol kuka du magi, ta us hagua upa. Chupichuta, Casolie Lichoi Rato, Capachuta. Look no further. I'm your Sith. Chupichuta, Casolie Lichoi Rato, Capachuta. Poguache chopa chimpa nolia. Macachisa.
Take it easy. Ah! <laughs> 
The pirates were responsible for tapping the generator. They've been eliminated. Was da waho taga hopi? Tu patula musta wo grangi tampio tu metunka. did it. We're running on geothermal power now. We blew a circuit when it came on, but that was easily fixed. Did the Hawks prove difficult? They proved clumsy and stupid. I could have fought twice that number. I thought as much. Sith have an extremely high success rate in combat against irregular forces. Now, if you'll excuse me, I need to oversee the deployment of our sensors and weapons. We've already begun the installation of our defense systems, and we're on schedule to be done before nightfall. Sir, the Republic frequencies are alive with chatter. They somehow knew we had a power surge just now, so I swept for bugs and I found this. An energy monitor. Do we have a spy or a traitor? Based on the Republic's internal communications, they had this installed long before we took over this outpost. I only looked because the Republic chatter was so obviously shocked by the influx of power. They won't attack here. They'll bomb the main geothermal reactor to black out the entire sector. By all means, continue. It sounds like they figure with us and a lot of pirates all on the same grid. One fatal blow is better than trying to take the reactor over. They'll have to cut through the Ortolan workers there and the Whitemore pirates, but they're sending Zero Squad snowtroopers. If I were a gambler like the captain here, I'd bet on them. My name alone will destroy them. Yes, uh, I'm sure your confidence will serve you well, my lord. Zero Squad is the Republic's best. If you defeat them, just think of the humiliation. Pampawula ji ota kakoga huta nupisto. Poyatuka changa goptula do batawana wanki. Se gota do muti ki hasa da punyo, lis di woto. What are you trying to sell? Moja jo chaluka. Kuna chi do nikti toki, saya tupi nu abiti. Umpa hupa, jikilia umpasa do biska. Kabano tase makipuna, mali tuta udmishka. I can't be bested by some pirates, adrenalized or otherwise. Pampawula ji ota kakoga huta nupisto. Chonki faguta ji ho poda ji oto vokise. I suppose I can lower myself to do this. Chioto flingola. Ah, chuba de naga bakawa.
she'll be all right. remains of a ship called the Star Runner, which you took from the Distress Beacon site. Could you say that again? No offense, but Master, why can't you Sith just become one with the Force when you die? Surely I can persuade you otherwise. I've never taken no for an answer. And it would be shame to start now. I do no one's bidding but my own. Consideration is not enough. I want your word. <laughs>
civilians need to evacuate the station. Step away from the console with your hands on your head. I said, step away from the console with your hands on your head. Excuse me, please. Intruders! I've got intruders in the shaft room! Ah! It's obvious I'm not here for your benefit. Why aren't you running? You provide the expertise, and the Empire will provide protection. There they are! Get them!
Are you sure you'll be all right? Kliska taka ya yoska ukle yuga chesko pukuta. Kuchusa yo mata chitoya asubu mota uipa. It's over. The reactor is secure, and the Empire now has a deal with the Orderlands. I was hoping they'd stay on. The last time we took over a reactor, we had to translate all their labels into BASIC. I'll ask Command to send reinforcements there. Looks like we're going to be holding some ground after all. You said pirate outposts are hooked up to the reactor. What happens to them? We cut their power and watch them run to a shelter with heat. They're easy pickings, then. But such trifles are our duty, not yours. You would be more useful at Thesh Outpost, on the glacier. The captain there is a friend. He's been wounded, and his outpost is battling a group of survivalist fanatics called the Hailstorm Brotherhood. You could make the difference. I'll go at once. Excellent. I'll send word. I met the ghost, and he needs me to get inside an ancient temple. Then it's true! My peers in the service laughed when I said it was on Hoth, but now, yes! It's the only thing that makes sense. Your ghost said he was a follower of Ludo Kresh, and that Naga Sadao's assassins killed him. Sith, do you realize what you've done? You're cute when you're excited. Oh, well, thank you. <laughs> How kind of you to say. We're talking about the fabled Sadoin, Naga Sadao's personal order of assassins. Myth made real. Don't worry, I'll get you inside. I've been circumventing the security of ancient tombs since I was old enough to hold a data spike in a pair of pliers. Glad to hear it. Let me just gather up my equipment here. All right, let's go.
Do you require medical attention? only as intended. Be well. I hope you plan to elaborate. point in letting the pirates sell all that spice. Please return to the medical bay. You may further injure yourself by walking. I heard you the first five times. Now be silent. I have an outpost to defend. So, you made it past the pass in the mountains. I'm surprised the Hailstorm Brotherhood let anyone through. Your old friend is alive and well. Hoth is turning our way. Revar. It is too long since I've heard from him. Apparently not doing so well he could send a fighting force. We've been cut off from the other outpost by the Hailstorm Brotherhood. A cult of madmen in the White Moor Pirates. You see this wound? Dressed it with seasonings from the rations when we ran out of Colto. In a few days, we'll be eating boot leather to survive. Are you going to take this indignity from a handful of pirates? We're weaker from hunger than I'd like to say. They're starving us out, and it's working. One defeat will be our last. What about you? Could you face them? I will break their ranks and send them screaming. Yes. Turn their ambush against them, and cut them down as they flee. Then, when you have the bodies piled... Ugh, curse it. Another stitch. Sir, I did say you need to be on bed rest. Very well. The Brotherhood like to use downed speeders as bait. They should be easy enough to find. Good hunting.
remember some of my combat training.
Order of the Imperial Reclamation Service. like a simple pulley job. I, I just need to... Give me a moment. Oh, 
I am too excited. Every time I open a new tomb, like watching a flower blossom, so many wonders. Unbelievable. These look like the catacombs. The rest of the temple must have been destroyed by the elements. The great and secret order of Naga Sadao's assassins, the Sadoween. This is where they came to die when their bloody work was done. So much history. It almost seems wrong to destroy it. Please. I know the ghost wants this all destroyed, but let me at least take some hollow recordings. To obliterate all this history, why? We'd be orphaning ourselves. A culture needs the hand of the past to guide it. The Assassin's legacy must be destroyed. That includes Hollow Records. Fine. Just tell me when it's over. I can't bear to watch.
That's the last of them. My lord, that droid, didn't we already defeat it? Excellent. Thank you, Sith, for your help. Fascinating. How is this possible? It doesn't appear to be technological. To see those pawns of Nagasadao crushed, their graves defiled. Normally, I consider myself above revenge, but this pleases me. I think I liked your old puppets better. More lifelike. I find Naga Sadal's droid aesthetic somewhat lacking myself. The ghost! Never in a million years! The Star Runner may be found in the belly of the mighty Super Dreadnought Star of Coruscant, in the graveyard of ships. I landed it there for safekeeping after I crushed its foolish captain. There. You will find me. I know the place, but it's swarming with pirates. White Moor, I think they're called. Not exactly connoisseurs of the historical. I'll use caution. Oh, I'm sure those pirates will crumble before you like the bones of dead Sith. I wait expectantly for your arrival. Unbelievable! One minute it's walking around good as new, and the next... Oh, there's better equipment for analysis at the base near here. It's on the way to the ship graveyard, if you'll follow me. has been destroyed and the pirates along with it. Then I'm finished here. the Hailstorm Brotherhood you spoke of. The pass is clear. Is that so? Glad to hear their bodies are finally getting colder. Those maniacs have laughed at us for far too long. But here's something they don't know. We found out where they hide. The Hailstorm Brotherhood make camp in an open-air fortress cut out of the ice, not far from here. I guess caves were too easy. They obey what their beloved Master Sav tells them to. He's their legend. A man who can survive anywhere. Kill the head of their little personality cult, and the body will fall apart. He's got Master in his name. Is he on the Jedi Council, or is it just a nickname? We assume he doesn't use the Force, or else he wouldn't be able to teach his skills to so many. He's tapped into something in the human body which makes him and his followers plenty dangerous. If you go into that ice fortress, don't give him any chances. Criminals, no matter how hardy, will not defy our empire. Good. Once he and his followers are scattered, we'll be able to get what we need shipped here from Dawn Base. Until then, we'll hold out. There's no way this filth will win through attrition. When you kill him, you let him know what a mistake he made leaving me alive.
Your products only as intended. Be well. Not a fighter. It seems you have some skill, stranger. 
You are not the effete little warriors they usually send our way. I suppose you were also the one who slew so many in the White Ridge Hills. Captain F said it was a mistake to leave him alive. Ha! Well, I will not be snuffed out like a candle on a shelf. If I am defeated, it will be a fight to remember. For you, I have a challenge. It's past time I ended you. I think not. Master Sab is dead. I found him in the Ice Fortress and cut him down. Then the Brotherhood will be broken. Their cult of personality has lost its savior. I will contact Dawnbase to send supplies to us. It won't be long before we clear out the Brotherhood's remnants. But Master Sav was just one of many. Soon we'll go after the big game. Boss Undro, Ellis Tarn, and the other Whitemoor kingpins. How do I get in on this? Admiral Holtz is going to order an attack on key Whitemoor members. But I don't know when or how. Fixer 308 at Zerik Outpost would have the details. The outpost's in the ship graveyard, prime Whitemoor turf. If anyone's come up with a way to hammer the pirates right off this rock, the Fixer would know. Give her a try. Goodbye.
Entering storehouse 0026. Antiquities to La Cordera. But I guibanist. Ni fragis fraujan. Coop painina. How sipe. Sai uren sa sayans. Do sayan frawa. Save some for me, will you? Like in on Uswambai. If my apprentice's Deshad fails to submit after the transfer, the bones of Tulak Horde could prove a useful bargaining chip. Daupanais and Niman. I don't know how she got hold of his remains. In Alai Matai, Gaswin Pidal, Pi Matai, Wulpaz, in Alai Uspolanai. Ja us de ans alfrast no job. The obulus of stop fara. And so we look at us, so gi in a gangan gisar far isis. Whatever you do, you can't let Zash take control. Elion Dandans atense lapto, iswis do delay, lotais wahaisen. And so we look at us, so gi in a gangan gisar far isis. It's no matter to me either way. Hi, Baidar Gaskir. Afwad ni. Ah, oh, that's better. I can think so much more clearly now. Thank you. Kemval will tear you apart. And I look forward to watching. Now, now, there's no need to be bitter. This is my storehouse. You may have anything here you want. Now, let's go back to the ship, shall we? I don't know how long Kem will be weakened, and I have lots of reading to catch up on. Benwayeb Akfilas Maiswarswis.
You are truly a beacon of hope to the Empire, my lord. One glance at your impressive stature, and our men will know that we've nearly won Hoth. Fill me in on the situation. Our recovery proceeds wonderfully. With only the minor problem of morale. On top of pirates and the Republic, our boys battle sub-zero temperatures, blizzards, frostbite, the list goes on. But you can boost their morale. What better way to warm up and invigorate the men than by rescuing supplies from the ship graveyard? Ooh la la. <laughs> I can think of a few more entertaining ways to keep warm, officer. I, I, well, who turned up the thermal arrays? <laughs> duty first, Varric, duty first. How about it? Recover the supplies from the shipyard? Emerge a legend of the Empire? If you're going to make me feel guilty, I'll do it. Simply beat our competitors to the ship graveyard, liberate valuables from the wreckage, and deliver them to Captain Kanan. Then we'll have more than enough provisions to weather the storm. In conclusion, Admiral, this seems like the most opportune window we'll get. All I need is the go-ahead. At least with my approval. Fixer, you may brief the volunteers and commence with the mission. Over and out. My lord, just who I was expecting. I'm Fixer 308. We've been tracking you since we heard about your success with the Tolls. What do you have for me? We've been hitting the White Maw hard lately. Enough so that they've called a meeting of their gangs. The loss of a power station was a bigger blow than we thought. Every one of their gangs will be represented. We intend to get you into that meeting and have you capture or kill everyone present. The hard part is getting there. Guards and walls have never kept me out before. That part of the plan I trust to you. But there's more. The shuttles of the leader's trusted captains will have the meeting's coordinates programmed into their NAVA computers. What you'll need to do is find a lieutenant with a shuttle, kill him, and get his access card to steal his ship. Once you get access to the shuttle, fly it to their hideout, track down the gang leaders, and take them out. Can you do that? All things are possible through the Force. Good. Here's a dossier on the leaders you'll be terminating. Our psych profiles indicate that, given the opportunity, some of them may surrender. It's up to you. Lastly, if you find an opportunity to search their files, take it. There's no telling what secrets these malcontents have hidden away. Here we are. Now, I have to analyze this droid. But your friend said they'd be here if you needed them. I believe the ghost said he was in the Dreadnought. Best go there if you wish to find him. I follow you.
my savior and avenger. My heart is light, almost as if I were alive again. You have a gift. The way you and your apprentice cut through my guardians was most satisfactory. What was the point of having them attack us? Haven't we already proven ourselves to you? I am sorry, but I have always been vain, and surrender is not a pill I swallow easily. Attempts on my life are not a pill I swallow easily. Surely a Sith must be used to fending off unwanted attacks. Or have the Sith become soft since my time? Before you perform the ritual, promise me that you will release me when your enemies are defeated, and you no longer need my power. Seal the promise with your blood, and I will submit willingly to your control. I don't make promises to the likes of you. I won't be taken easily. Oh, my God. 
this.
We've heard enough alarms. The time has come to move our base of operations to Lorimar. Why go to Lorimar when nothing can reach us here? The guards will handle whatever intruders at the door? I don't think so. Ah, scurry before the meter dosium. Moflaska ki kafi mamogur tu flator. I don't know who you think you are, but you made a bad mistake opening this door. Es a silgo terben a ser zet lakata. I owe you nothing but a swift death. Nenga momichu. I did as you said. There were a few bumps, but they've been smoothed out. I wouldn't have wanted to see what they'd do to me once I contacted Korriban and told them I got a Sith Lord killed. So the White Maw finally falls. I wonder, was this the nerve center of their operation, or are there valuables hidden elsewhere? I found a place called Lorimar in their databanks. It's likely their stash is there. Lorimar. I wonder if that has to do with the inventor, Lorimar. He was quite a droid maker before he vanished a decade or so back. We should probably send a salvage team to investigate. But seeing as you trusted me with this information, I think I'll mark the area as unsecured until you're finished with it. That way the reclamation service doesn't get first crack. That's kind of you. Don't mention it. Especially not where internal security might be listening. Thank you. I doubt I could have trusted someone else to bring this operation to a close.
Resource Recovery Machine 5. I will not allow you to open the cases. Do you understand? It's okay. I'm a member of the White Maw. No exceptions are made for White Maw members. Step away from the cases. Neutralization mode engaged. <laughs>
Captain Kanan, I recovered these supplies from the ship graveyard. I've been told you need them. Finally. Been weeks without working equipment. Now if we could only get a decent meal. I'd shake your hand, but I'm sick as a dog. The cold may freeze mucus, but it sure doesn't kill germs. Hoth's a little warmer, thanks to you. I went to the pirate's hideout. I found this neural chipset for a battle droid. I think Lorimar designed it. Well, the stamp seems consistent with his work. Wait, it's brilliant. He solved the traditional limitations of a chipset brain. Hold on a moment, I need to make a call. Admiral, we've recovered a battle droid neural chipset from the White Moor. It's the advancement we've been waiting for. From the White Moor? What are they doing with tech like that? They had it hidden in the last known location of the inventor Lorimar. Lorimar? That would make sense. His robotics always were top-notch. It's a quad-photonic neural chipset, Admiral. If you put this in a battle droid, it'll think on its feet better than most humans. It could change the course of the war. For someone who's dropped off the map, Lorimar's work still seems cutting edge. Completely. We'll get this to the space station at once. I'll alert the reclamation service to the Lorimar area. There's no telling what else might be there. As for you, I'll take a well-earned vacation. Somewhere warm. Take it easy. Do you require medical attention? Be well. Oh my lord, I hoped to catch you before you left. I, um, 
I have resigned from the service. The military just isn't the best use of my talents. I feel I could serve the Empire better by, uh, by helping you, if you'll let me. I can always use another lover of the strange. It would be an honor. I promise I won't let you... Wait, you will? Great! Great! Thank you. You won't regret it. I have military training, rifles, small arms, grenades, and I am the best in the galaxy at finding rare artifacts, if I may say so. The ship's getting crowded. Are you sure we can use him? I promise I won't let you down. sense the new power within you. Good. And I would suggest... Tagasar Charis embarks prize war pairing Swase Ikbus Karadida. For once I agree with a monster. Break into Thanaton's meditation chamber and blast him with all those dead Sith you've piled up. Then set a course for Drummond Kuss. You got it, Captain. But if you face him with his defenses up like last time, you're toast. Don't forget it. If there's any way I can aid you, my lord, let me know. My lightsaber is ready, should you have need. Up now, we sons. I gotta run. Another friend of yours in trouble. Don't got time for questions. Someone from my Republic days has popped up. Someone I thought was dead. If I don't jump on this tip now, he might disappear again. I'll fill you in later. Alright, I said I'd give you an explanation when I got back. Here it is. We were chasing down a free trader on a tip in neutral space when an Imperial fleet jumped on our position, blasted us to pieces. Guy who gave us the tip, an SIS agent, that spy to the Empire, named Harmon Reich. Why would a Republic agent tip off an Imperial fleet? I hear lots of Republic boys are playing both sides. It's not just the Sith who have powers of persuasion. Could have just been bad intel. Except Reich disappeared the same day. One of my old underworld contacts traced one of his safe houses, but Reich slipped away before I could get to him. I can understand not wanting to fight somebody else's war. I skipped out myself, but Reich owes me an explanation. What if the explanation is that he betrayed you and your men and sent you to die? He better have a good reason why. What was your master like? You had a master, right? I did. Until I trapped her in the body of the Dashad. Ah. So that's whose Ash is. The way she spoke of you, I suspected. She makes me uneasy. She speaks so kindly of you, but the look in her eye and that body... It's wrong. Deception is Zash's stock and trade. Don't believe a word she says. I won't ever get used to the fear and suspicion among Sith. You claim to follow your passions, but what about friendship? The Jedi seek spiritual peace, and they watch out for each other. Master Ryan and Osara were more like parents to me than my own parents. Yet you disobeyed them to follow me. Every Jedi must find her own path. Mine was with you. I'm sorry, I wasn't trying to start an argument. I'm still trying to figure things out.
My lord. I'm sorry I was so harsh about the Empire earlier. There's just a lot I'm still trying to process. Let me know if I can do anything to make the adjustment easier. I know Jedi are supposed to be patient, but it's never been my strength. How would you feel if suddenly you had a Jedi Master and were serving the Republic? I'm sorry. I haven't been very sympathetic. Thanks for understanding. I promise I won't let my misgivings interfere with our work. I changed my mind. I have nothing to say to you. I don't understand. I haven't done anything. No, you didn't do anything, but you're Sith. Just released on the Holonet. Sith and the Corellian system killed the group of free traders for failing to give them free passage to the Outer Rim. They murdered them. I'm sorry, but you can't hold me responsible for the actions of every Sith. What's the Empire gonna do about it? You know the answer as well as I do. Nothing. If there's gonna be any kind of peace agreement, the Empire has to stop this. For too long, the Sith have been regarded as kings among animals. Untouchable tyrants. It will take a lot of work to change that perception. I didn't come along because I expected things to be easy. I'm sorry. I'll try to be more patient. I know Andronicus is rather attached to the ship, but I was wondering if I could fly it now and then. Master Ryan said I showed exceptional aptitude at flying in simulation training, but I've never been able to pilot the real thing. You'd have to get Andronicus to agree, but I have no problem with it. I'll be very careful, I promise. I just wanted to thank you again for having me along. I'm honored to work with someone of your expertise. The archaeological pursuits of the Sith and Empire have been separate for too long. It is our common history. We have a shared duty to unearth it. Sith rarely seek knowledge for its own sake. Your purity is refreshing. I wouldn't consider myself purer than anyone else in my line of work. I'm honored to do what I do. From the depths of the ground, history calls us to save it from obscurity. I do my best to answer that call. I can tell you do the same. You remind me of my old mentor, Orsilio Gan. He was the one who discovered something about Naga Sadao's secret apprentice? Advanced archaeology a hundred years. No detail ever escaped him. But what am I doing talking when there's work to be done? As we say in the service, the dead aren't getting any younger. So, explain this to me. The tomb of Naga Sadao on Koryabam was built by Tulak Horde before Naga Sadao was even born? And that's where you found the Deshard Shadow Killer? And when your master tried to steal your body, you used the artifacts of Tulak Horde to put her being into this Deshard? You forgot the part where I received aid from my long-dead ancestor, who was murdered by Tulak Horde. Kalik. He was one of the most powerful Sith Lords of his time. Perhaps the most powerful. Oddly pro-alien. To think how the Empire might have been different if he had killed Tulak Horde and not the other way around. Darth Zash and I have been talking. Well, when she's around. I would love to speak more with Kemval, but I don't think he likes me. He only eats Force users. Yes, I'd read much about his species, but never seen one in person. Still, when he gets that hungry glint in his eye... I understand you inherited quite the archive from Zash. I would love to see it sometime. I would love to show it to you. Excellent. The quest for knowledge is eternal.
think I'll finish up chapter two now in this video. And then go on to chapter three in the next. Well, after I complete all of my Jedi Knight, of course. So, let's read this mail. Colonel Utris. I must thank you again for the honor you bestowed on me at Dorn Base. My promotion to Colonel came as a surprise, but I have but I have put a motion behind me to focus on bolstering our defenses. The Republic made a bold strike against us, but you clearly demonstrated that their success was more a matter of our own overconfidence and their competency as warriors. Vigilance and preparation are the new watchwords under my command. Although Commander Triton was clearly disappointed to be passed over for promotion, he has been unswer unswervingly loyal during his transition. I will see he is appropriately rewarded. This is from the Orderlin, I think. My friends and I are working hard to expand our generator's capacity for the Empire's needs. Your associates will be very ple will be very impressed with what we can do, I assure you. And so far, they've shown a more gratitude than, than those Republic cheapskates. Thanks for giving us a chance. You know, I think I have a list. Uh, there is a slight problem I have with Hoth. It's, um... Kind of uh, conflicting with the imperial side of things, because it's a, it's a world where you are at at the same time with a republic and imperial characters it happens at the same time. So the you end up doing the same quests as well, sort of like on Alderaan where you end up going after Boris Olgo. But, at least that's kind of the same quest, just given to you by different uh, quest givers. So for like the, um, I forgot what they were called, that, uh, the Brotherhood, if you, um, you end up encountering them again as a Jedi, well, as a Republic, and Imperial, so the, both the quests are just very, very different for the same thing. So for the Sith, you go in, you either kill Master Shav, or whatever his name was, and uh, or you can challenge him, and of course his followers would teach you how to adapt to the cold weather and then leave Hoth. But, um, for the Jedi Knight, well, god damn it. I keep saying Jedi Knight when I should be saying the whole Republic, but whatever. For the Republic side, when you go in, you're going with, in with Imperial and Republic troopers. And you have to work on getting them to trust one another. You'll eventually see that in the Hoth video for My Jedi Knight, but I just wanted to point that out. I just wish they kind of would have maybe kept it similar or something. Or given the Jedi, uh, or given the Republic a different kind of quest. Whatever. Let's head to Drummond Goss.
goodbye. Let's go. That was quick thinking, buying off Lord Cineratus. You'll be pleased to know the Hedonist has already gambled it all away. Man served me well for 13 years until you bought him. Playing on a fellow Sith's pleasures, clever move. Draw your lightsaber, you die here. I've faced many challenges over the years. My death is no more certain now than it was then. You are young and proud. No doubt all you see is a withered old man waiting to be crushed and succeeded. Roland? Yes, Master. The apprentice of a disobedient Sith must die. Let us do our solemn duty. This time, I will be sure to dispose of your corpse personally. I will not be a corpse. This nonsense now. Don't let him talk to you like that. He's a treacherous snake. Cut out his fangs. Careful now. Don't lose control. I warned you my ritual was dangerous. I warned you it was not for the weak. But you drank the poison. What have you done, you fool? You can't handle that kind of power. What just happened? Where's Thanaton? You're dying, little snake. Don't struggle. It'll only prolong the agony. One thing I forgot to mention about the Force Binding. You should never, ever bind more than one ghost at a time. Or else, well, you'll see. Love you, Art. Be quiet. I need to think. She wants to think. 
She should have thought before she grasped for power beyond her abilities. We had no choice but to serve you before, but now we can finally have some fun. Sith, back in the land of the living. Easy now. You overextended yourself. The ghost's power was too much for your body to adapt to so quickly. And that's not to mention the little chats you've been having in your sleep. Let me guess, the ghosts? They won't be quiet. How did you know? I know a thing or two about voices invading one's thoughts. Whatever the cause, you look dire. And Thanaton will take advantage unless we find a cure quickly. Give me some time to do some research. Ashara, I'll need your help. Holocrons are impossible these days. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to change my outfit. And that's what I'm going to look like for chapter three. Let's go ahead and head back to my starship. by my asking, how is it you became Sith, my lord? The process is completely foreign to me. I had a brother who was force sensitive. Darth Maar came and took him to Korriban, but we didn't hear from him again after that. Ungrateful little rat thinks he's too good for us now, my father said. But really, I think he just missed him. If I ever run into your brother, I'll let you know. Oh, it's all right. We didn't really get along anyway. He was always faster and stronger, and he usually had a stick in his hand. Father always wanted one son in the Sith and one in the military. Admittedly, the Imperial Reclamation Service wasn't his first choice, but after all the cursing stopped, I think he warmed up to the idea. I can believe I've got my mic, but it's still on. I'll turn that off. What did your father have against the Imperial Reclamation Service? The Drillics are a proud family line, and my father is simply the proudest of the lot. The Imperial Reclamation Service shores up the Empire's foundations against the flood of forgetfulness and misinformation that threatens our history. I'd like to see a fighter pilot establish the lineage of a 3,000-year-old Sith Lord with nothing but rocks and a dead language. I have always believed that knowledge will ultimately win out over the lightsaber and the blaster. Thank you, my lord. It is my honor to serve. My lord, I've been studying the Sith Code lately, and I'm wondering what you think of the line, Peace is a lie. There doesn't seem to be a lot of room for interpretation, but... I know you are an ardent proponent of peace. There's a difference between complacency and genuine peace. The Jedi are not complacent. When it is necessary, we act. The Jedi Code is the core of our philosophy. We learn it by heart, and it's the foundation of everything we do. But I guess it's different for the Sith. The Sith Code is more a description than a guide. A Sith is the ultimate individual. There are as many different Sith philosophies as there are Sith. What about the Emperor? And the Dark Council? I thought they governed the Sith. 
The Emperor has not been heard from in a long time. It can't go on like that, you know. How can there be peace with the Sith Empire when every Sith does their own thing? This task we've taken gets more difficult every day. your monster to settle down. His raging makes it impossible to get any reading done. In piso se waitai spira press in kretai. In piso e wanata atragata injais. Godais akran bairadans jawan jandans in pan guidis. You were the one who couldn't just leave Tulak Horde's bones alone. This will never accept responsibility as long as there's someone else to blame. I really am quite grateful. You've no idea how much easier it's been to think since the storehouse. And I have to say, I'm growing used to this body. It has its limitations, certainly, but it's such strength. Don't get too settled. Ken won't like it. He doesn't have much of a choice, does he? Now, if you'll excuse me, I have to get some research in while the monster's at bay. Hey, uh, Sith. We make a pretty good team. I was thinking I might take off after I found Reich, but the old job just doesn't sound quite as appealing. I'd be honored to have you with me. Maybe sometime I'll take you out into open space and show you the thrill of lying in wait for a big freighter and a big payoff. I may be out of the game, but my skills are sharper than ever. Okay, now that should be it. Well, thank you all for watching. And I will see you next time. Goodbye. Oh god, that was four and a half hours.